Hello and welcome to another update video about Quant. Uh, certainly one of the more interesting charts. Just really wanted to take a quick look here at the most imminent price action. I continue to see the movement that started down here at $87 when we hit the 50% Fib retracement and also my reversal area. Um, I continue to see this as a five wave move to the upside, an impulsive move, which is part of a higher degree wave three. And in the wave three, we are now in the first wave that is highlighted here in yellow. Yeah. After that, I would expect a wave two to the downside, which I will use personally to scale in. We've reached here on the upside, uh, we've reached my target area. Um, I think though that we could still push higher, all in line with my previous videos still. We're currently in a channing, uh, channing <laughs> in a channel to the upside here. You can see this ascending trend line here and the resistance line up there. Parallel channel and as long as we are moving in the channel I would focus further um, on further upside. But it is going to get exhausted here soon. Volume is currently declining a little bit. Um, but that is also not much of a surprise because what we are doing again could be a bit of a triangle here. So if I zoom in in a little bit more, my current view of this movement to the upside is as follows. I think that we have seen here, let me just look at that again one second. And I think we have seen here a wave one, a wave two. We are now still in the third wave that might be nearly finished then a wave four down and a wave five here to the upside. Okay, so within this wave three in white, we have seen here a wave one, we have seen a wave two, we've seen a wave three, we've seen a wave four, and we're now in the fifth wave. Yeah, so that is my primary expectation. And in this fifth wave, we could obviously push a little bit higher. Um, minimum requirement for, for that would be to push above $163 above the wave three high. So at the moment, as long as we are consolidating here nicely, we can push obviously higher. Support level here is $148. Um, now this wave four, it's again a wave four, which takes a bit of time here at the moment. Again, this could be a triangle, yeah, A, B, C, D, E, and we now could be, we, we could be pushing up now, yeah. Um, important would be now a breakout, most imminently a breakout above 159 US dollars. That would be the most would be the most imminent resistance level, and then we could push up to the wave three high at 163.50 roughly, yeah, and then move up here and finish off the wave five. I would then expect another wave four to the downside that ideally stays in the channel, hits maybe the support level here would be a nice pullback. Um, and then another wave five to the upside that would finish off wave one. I wouldn't be surprised if we push in this entire move all the way up to the maximum of this target area, $188, yeah, maybe even 190, but would then come down in a wave two. Now, why do I say we get exhausted? Well, first of all, the elite wave pattern is nearly full. I think that is sort of the first important consideration here. And then if we look at the RSI, let me just make that a bit larger, it's the four hour RSI. We are making higher highs on the price chart, but we are starting to make lower highs on the relative strength index, which is a momentum indicator. Now, if you do that, if you see this bearish divergence, that is not a bullish signal. It means that a move up is getting exhausted. We have the same story here with a daily chart as well where we have a bearish divergence. We're making higher highs on the price chart, but lower highs on the RSI. So that means short term, higher prices expected until we break out of the channel to the downside. That would be a strong signal. We are indeed coming down, but for now we are still above the 20 day moving average, which is here at $135. We are above the channel um, support line. Yeah, so at the moment it's all still focusing further to the upside. Um, but as soon as we break that to the downside of that channel, then I think we are reaching here this green area, which will shift. If we push a bit higher, that also will shift a bit higher. Uh, it's currently located between 101 and 120 US dollars. Thanks a lot for watching. So I hope you like the update. Um, if you did like it, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And yeah, or if you really like the content, then please make sure you check out our channel membership and also follow us on Instagram and Twitter. Um, and you can find the links for those in the video description. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye bye.